Do I have a clicker? Oh, sweet. All right, awesome. Hey, uh, my name is Dave Fetterman. I'm the engineering manager of uh, mobile at Facebook. Uh, this is uh, the first time I've given this presentation. I've been at mobile for about a year. It's been a very, very exciting year. Um, but I want to point out that my, my slides really, really suck. It's one of those, those oh no moments where you realize your slides are just, just awful. Um, but uh, it's, been, it's been a great year. And uh, one thing I wanted to, I wanted to talk about, um, I, I don't even know what's in the abstract, frankly. I'm not sure what you guys are expecting to hear about like desktop and web and mobile and all that stuff. I'm just going to give you this, sort of the state of the world on Facebook mobile because it's been uh, actually really rad. But one thing I have talked about before is uh, the Facebook platform. I started that project about three years ago. Um, so you guys remember the Facebook platform and all this zombie. No one forgets their first zombie bite or their first sheep throw or their first quiz invitation or these sorts of things. But what I want to say is Facebook mobile, right now, working for Facebook mobile is a lot like working for the Facebook platform. It's just one of these things that you look back and you're like, wow, this is a match like made in absolute heaven. It's just a complete no-brainer that this is the way that I think that uh, it's all going to go, and that's why I'm doing this job, because I love drinking my own Kool-Aid on this. But the, the, the Facebook platform um, was just, it, it was at the right, it was right there. Like, the, the world was so ready for it. Developers wanted to exchange information and use social networks to power their services and get distribution. And the same way, like Facebook mobile right now is just a complete freaking no-brainer. Right? And that's one of the greatest things to work on. It's something that is like just almost guaranteed to be a success because of just how integral it is to people, Facebook and mobile. Right? So I want to talk, first of all, about how the platform was this complete no-brainer, hindsight 2020, right? But, um, and, and, and how that reminds me a lot of, of Facebook platform and the time in which we live. So back in, in 2006, this was you know, the beginning of this like Web 2.0, whatever that means, that, that sort of boom. And there were just like hundreds of social networks with at least 100,000 members. Right? So the, I was on Facebook, and I was on MySpace, and Bebo, and Zingler, and Booba, and all this sort of stuff. Right? And I was interacting with the same friends on all of these. But the main problem was that I had to recreate my identity on each one. Right? That sucked. No one liked doing that. And additionally, so uh, all these big companies decided to hire something called like a social media analyst or something like that, where they would say, hey, you know, we're Sears or we're Coca-Cola. Let's, you know, what do we do to get into social media? And they would say, all right, well, let's make people sign up for a social network based on Coke or Sears or, or you know, Gillette razors or something like that, right? And no one wanted to do that either. Like, you didn't want to sign up for 10 social networks, let alone sign up for a social network about razors. You wanted to come, maybe like comment on news articles or, I'm sorry, is a Gillette person in here? Like, my bad. All right. So you wanted, to, you wanted to be able to do this stuff. You wanted to be able to interact with each other, but you didn't want to have to join another social network to do that. And even worse, dearest to my heart, were all these little you know, startup companies who just wanted to get the word out, who wanted to get the word out about their cool uh, application, their cool game, or their cool you know, way of looking at the world through the web. And so we built this thing called the Facebook platform. Ding. There we go. And said, all right, Amazon, or all right, whoever, when you go log on to Amazon, you don't need to create a whole other Amazon social network, as, as good as a company as Amazon is. You can log on and see your friends right there and their reviews of the books, which are actually much more compelling than some stranger's reviews. And you know what? If they do something on your site, we'll pipe it right back into Facebook through this news feed thing that's aggregating and making relevant all these social uh, actions in the web. And you get free distribution and a way to interact with your, with, uh, your customers in a way that they understand. So... That's what created this huge explosion of applications. They were all over. There were hundreds of thousands of these things and tens of thousands of really, really competent ones. So this uh, you know, actually reminds me a lot of the way uh, that, that mobile is sort of right now. You want me to talk about, about Facebook mobile, though, so I'm going to actually do that. Here's the perfect storm right now for mobile. And you guys are, you guys are bought into this because you're sitting here talking about what are fundamentally mobile services. Um, the important thing right now is that devices no longer suck. Like, a few years ago, it was bad enough making a phone call on some of these devices, let alone doing something that's that next step of social, right? So now you can browse the web on devices. Like, now you can install apps. This apps metaphor has moved beyond something on, you know, a social network to something on your phone. And phones are really, really useful socially, clearly, right? Like, Facebook didn't, you know, we didn't invent identity. But your phone was your original identity, right? People are, you know, the, the number uniquely identifies you. And people are making uh, payments on phones now and, and that sort of thing. And your phone is your original friends list as well. You know, whether you have this friends list in the cloud, I hate that term, or you have your friends list on your phone, it's like these are the people you interact with in real life. No brainer, right? And like Facebook, you're always on this thing. I bet some of you are on this right now. I can see you. Uh, you're, you're always on the phone. And one thing that I think the rest of Facebook hates that I sometimes remind them is that the best social content is those, that content that you're producing in the real world. Right? Like Facebook used to be uh, a, a site for college kids, right? And then it was for Americans. And now it's for 400 million people in the world. 
And maybe I spend all day on my laptop in front of my screen, lolzing things in the news feed, because um, I'm a white collar information worker in the United States. Right? I'm, a, I'm a tech geek. But Facebook's not built for the value workers of the world. Facebook isn't built for the people who have you know, laptops on them all, at all times. Facebook is built for people to communicate with everyone else that they know everywhere. I mean, like, we're, we're, we're going for everyone, right? So the, the best social content is that is, which is created in the world, right? It's not like the blogging stuff. It's when you're out interacting with friends and things that are social are happening. Like maybe your World of Warcraft guild is, is over there, but like what the real social interactions are what happens when you're out at restaurants, out at parties, or out at events, or even at things like this, where you're meeting people and talking to people and really interacting with them. So the best social content, I think, is coming from what is actually happening in mobile. So the stage is set for these things to happen. Like this is the time, I think, when like Facebook mobile is just really going to take off. And I want to show you some, some other partners who believe in that in a very weird ways. So John, if you play that, please. Before we begin, we'd like to say that in our opinion, it is not suitable for children or for those who may for have a nervous disposition. दोस्तों के साथ रहना किसे पसंद नहीं पर जब मैं सफर या क्रिकेट में बिजी रहता हूँ तब क्या करूँ मैं एयरसेल पॉकेट इंटरनेट पर फेसबुक यूज करता हूँ Post di mana aja? Pakai tri Facebook dan lewat SMS cuma lima ribu per bulan. Con Facebook. Por primera vez en nuestro país, tres señales de audio y video simultáneas para que elijas la que tú quieras. Alright, right, that's good enough. You guys get the idea, right? Welcome. You guys definitely get the idea. So, I mean, Facebook's a lot of things to to sort of a lot of people, and whether whether you're interpreting this as an operator or device manufacturer or a software manufacturer, um, as uh, I don't know. Like people want to follow Indian celebrities, or people want to, you know, be little robots poking each other in the face, or whatever. Like it's clear that this is this is something that that operators want to, and developers and device manufacturers want to get involved in because this is what people people really want. So you know, what does this mean? And, you know, how well is this going on Facebook Mobile right now? So actually, uh, it's been kind of a crazy go nuts year, right? So Facebook itself went you know 2.5 x last year, which is a phenomenal achievement. We we're all very very proud. Um, so they said, you know, mobile, why don't you guys, you know, try to do 2.5, see, see how it goes, check in with us. So we did, we hit 2.5x um, from 20 million to about 50 million in May, then they said, all right, 75, and we hit that in September, then like, all right, go for the hundo, and we hit that right at the end of the year, so we're now at 100, 100 million users using this thing, right? And I don't think I have to tell you guys that this, I think this is the way that people will primarily interact on the web, especially socially, because it makes a lot more sense, uh, you know, in the future. So what is, how does this actually decompose? Like we knew it would be popular, and this is where my slides start getting really stupid. Um, we knew it would be really popular, but what did we learn from this, right? So let's start at the middle. The biggest countries, no surprise, the English-speaking Commonwealth. You know, like the United States, Canada, uh, Britain, this sort of thing. But what we didn't expect was that Indonesia would be up there, right? So Indonesia is a giant country, but it, but it's not sort of the normal, you know, Facebook click of it didn't spread like just you know in the same way that that it did elsewhere. And this is actually informed by the fact that um, in Indonesia, you might not have a desktop or a laptop computer. You're not going down to the den and firing up your AOL and checking Facebook. It's actually something that has to be mobile. Not something that like, it just inherently is mobile, something that has to be mobile. And this is some of our most active countries right now. So people in Indonesia actually use Facebook on mobile more than they use it on the desktop. This is, the same, this is true for South Africa and Kenya and some other ones. Um, and, and my favorite one is that people actually who use Facebook mobile are more, and more engaged, twice as much engaged, in fact. So you're doing two times as many content, you know, pieces of content consumption, means seeing things, and content production, which actually putting things in the network and adding value to the system through that. And you know, the stats heads, I don't know how many like, stats people there are here, but they love to say, all right, this, is, this could be correlation and not causation. Like, I never heard that before, right? Like, so, so yeah, there are some correlations. Like, maybe the people who just love Facebook decide to do mobile too. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. But what we're finding is that a lot of that additional 1x is actually when they're out in the world. So we're filling a need that you know, wasn't you know, achievable before when they're actually, actually in the world producing things and consuming things that they need in society and people. So how do we actually do this sort of thing, right? So in order to support 
these, you know, the, the broadest set of people who don't maybe even like have a computer that they inter interact with a whole lot. Like we're building an SMS product, right? Which I'm sure you guys have seen. And this, this, ah, it's all off. Um, and then, you know, to, to fill that sort of middle need, uh, we're actually doing, you know, we actually have a website as well. So we have two different websites, like the Facebook web presence. I'm sure you guys have seen that. And some of the most interesting things that people want to talk about here, how do we build the most engaging product? How do we get it so that people use you know, their phone list as their friend list? Or you can just upload a photo right there. Or it's like, this is your Facebook device. Those are device integrations and applications. So let's dive into this. Like SMS, probably the easiest one to understand. Um, there's my slide, get horrible. Uh, but like basically, you know, if you're a mobile operator, and people want to use Facebook, like, you know, and you're charging for SMS, it's one of the easiest ways to give them something they want and make money as well. So this means that 220 mobile operators around the world are pr promoting Facebook and getting people onto Facebook because that is what's, that is what's making them money. Uh, on mobile sites, um, why would you use a mobile site if you had a mobile device, for example? Like, well, actually, this is the majority of the use of the system is these mobile websites. So we have one JS-less or basic site, one touch-oriented site, and this is a lot like Facebook. It's translated into all 70 different languages, and it's like the most, the broad net. It's what people want to use, and, and, and the web will win, so uh, we're making sure that the web works. So if I'm on, it, there's a progressive enhancement as well. So if I'm on you know, an old Blackberry, I see HTML, CSS, and photos. If I'm on you know, the worst POS clamshell out there and I have no data, I have the stuff on the left, right? So it's providing the sort of the same things that Facebook is, uh, that's, but maybe more focused on easy content creation and consumption. There are things that you probably won't do on mobile, right? You probably aren't going to create a group on mobile because who cares, right? But when you're, when you're actually out there, you want to you know, see who's around you. You want to um, you know, consume, consume content really easily and produce your status and look up people's phone numbers and all that sort of stuff. This is, the, you know, this is our website. This is m.facebook.com. And, and an homage to phones not sucking anymore, we have this you know, newer site called touch.facebook.com. It was originally called iPhone, and the folks at Android didn't like that because uh, they actually built a really good phone as well. So um, the difference here is that we're able to use uh, much more natural Facebook interactions like Ajax, like type aheads, and in the future, hopefully some of the things that come into some of these, these great phones that you guys are, are, are talking about right now. Um, so this is, again, not hockey-oriented, not scroll-oriented, but touch-oriented, and it feels much more natural. Uh, and a lot more people, as phones get better and better and better, are interacting with these, these sites. So again, there are reasons to use these instead of a device um, integration, because A, Things come out you know, a lot more often on the web here. It's like you don't have to wait for a new firmware to be burned for your phones or for good phones to download the new app update. You know, the web moves as fast as, as we do at Facebook, um, which is sometimes almost too fast. Uh, and devices here, like how many, what, what do you think of when you think of Facebook for your device? I mean, you're thinking of, of probably the iPhone, right? So how many people here have iPhones? All right. How many people have Facebook for the iPhone? Yeah, it's, like, it's a pretty similar number, right? And this is a fantastic application. It's one of the it's, you know, it's a way to put Facebook on your RAM instead of our RAM, basically, right? So it uses our, our APIs and platform endpoints that this ultimately enables. Um, but this is just a short head of a very, very long tail of uh, other devices around the world. Uh, some of them are growing really, really rapidly. And you know, if you can integrate Facebook into your POS phone just as easily as you, as you can into your, your iPhone, then it's a good system that's going to be able to serve a lot of different people. So what are these you know, devices? We think of, here's Facebook on my phone. Like here's, it has a little Facebook it does. I can look at profiles and news feed and events and all that sort of stuff. But there's so much more you can do with a device beyond just providing a different skin on the website. So I think the real, real good stuff is going to come for the things that no one could build except the manufacturers themselves. And those are the integrations, right? So something simple as, you know, I could upload a photo right to Facebook when I take it on the camera. Brain dead. Easy, right? I can... You know, see my status right on the, my home screen, fine. But things like that are core to the phone, like uh, your phone book, like your original friends list syncing with your friends list in the cloud, super, super compelling. It is your Facebook communications device. So some examples of this are, as I said, you know, just like the weather, you want to know what's going on in your world, home screen integration, duh. We got, uh, you know, being able to use your phone book in the same way that you use your Facebook friends list, like integrated right in there. So we've been able to do this in the newest iPhone app by syncing, by building um, an iPhone 3.1, syncing your contacts back and forth between these guys, and there's more of that to come. And even, you know, someone calls you, you see their face. This could be something developed by the, the device manufacturer. This could be even something integrated into the carrier at some point. Like, being able to integrate what your, your friends list is in your pocket with your friends list in the world is, I think, very, very compelling. So, I mean, in, in, in the Valley, like, a lot of us, you know, I think we're doing sort of rocket science, but like this, these problems are, are really just matters of plumbing. You know, so Facebook Connect is an acknowledgement that uh, some of the best things are just waiting to happen because by hooking data sources together. So you guys have seen Facebook Connect in the web, log in, you use your identity everywhere. It's like, 
you know, it's like, like Microsoft Passport, but it like does more things, I would say. Uh, I remember, remember Passport from years ago. Um, and you can, you know, comment on things, and they come back into your feed, and like basically taking Facebook with you throughout the entire web. But, you know, we have the ability to do these things on devices as well, like phones. So take something simple like Doodle Jump. Have you guys ever played Doodle Jump? Okay, I'm getting the, I'm getting the hook. But, you know, Brain Dead, a really fun game, log in, all of a sudden now it's a game I'm competing with my friends. You know, so we have Facebook Connect integrated with a lot of different stuff across your phones. We have it with many of the, the great location services that we're talking about that are here with us right now. And I just want to say that, uh, oh, gosh, I'm not Mobile Dave. I'm just regular Dave at Facebook.com. If you're a device manufacturer, talk to us. We can help you differentiate your device. If you're an operator, we can provide you uh, some great opportunities for, your, you know, for your, your customers. And if you're just a cool person with a lot of ideas about where we can go with mobile, with what I think will be the, ultimately the, the world's biggest mobile property, let us know. I'm Dave at Facebook.com. Thanks. <laughs>